What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the three things that I learned from Rick the Stick. The Boogs! A lot of times I get questions when I work with people of what are they like. So before I get into three things that I learned from him, I just want to explain a little bit about Eric. Uh, first of all, I love the guy. He has just such great energy. He's strong as heck. He's funny. He's witty. And uh, honestly, just a cool guy to hang around. He's kind of like, reminds me of like the older brother that I never had. Uh, so everything you guys watch on video is basically how he is in person. Uh, me being able to spend more time with him. I got to talk to him a lot more in depth and have some great conversation. Uh, but he is every bit of uh, the boogs that you guys see on his channel. And overall, just an awesome human being and a specimen of an athlete. The one thing I do want to say about Eric uh, that actually did mean a lot to me from a personal uh, experience is when I had torn my bicep working out with Juji and Eric uh, off camera, you could tell how actually upset Eric was for me and just how sympathetic he was uh, during that whole time. So there were a lot of things that went on after, you know, what you guys saw on YouTube until me trying to figure it out, you know, going to the urgent care, et cetera. And we spent a lot of time together. Uh, and I want to say that he delivered a lot of great words of wisdom uh, to me about how to handle injury, you know, what to do after it had happened. And just you could tell that the guy has a heart, okay? So, uh, you know, obviously we do a lot of things for YouTube. We get hyped up. We have fun. We say crazy things. We, we just, you know, go a berserk. <laughs> but at the same time, um, when you can see that someone is just a genuine, caring human being, that goes really far in my book. So I just want to say that uh, to you guys so you guys know that he's that kind of person. And also, uh, thank you, Eric, uh, just for, you know, giving me words of wisdom and being encouraging during that time. Let's get right to it. First thing uh, that I want to say about Eric is that uh, when it comes to Mr. Bugenhagen, there's no such thing as isolation. <laughs> so that's one of the first things I learned, and I'm joking, but I'm also being dead serious, is every movement that we had done uh, when we were training together somehow uh, turned into a compound lift, right? From uh, bicep curls to lat pull downs to chest machines, uh, Eric literally uses every single muscle from actual muscle to his eyeballs to his mind, all right? So uh, I just wanna kind of put that out there. And to an extent, right, uh, I kind of like it because it just shows the intensity that he has in his training sessions. Obviously, there's a time and place, in my opinion, for isolation. You can just tell kind of the main point I'm getting at here is that intensity is key. That man is 100% intense when he is training, and uh, I can take away some pointers and also probably the importance of adding in some heavier singles. Eric loves to train heavy singles. Uh, I've done it periodically, but not as much as him. And I can see that there is some value in putting in heavy singles to compound lifts uh, just for getting better at them. And also having your body used to just using that much force, explosiveness, power, strength, all in one on a lower rep or single rep exercise. So that's my first thing uh, that I've learned from Mr. Bugenhagen. All right, the second thing that I had learned from Eric Bugenhagen was the mindset. And yes, he's talked a ton about this on his channel, so go watch his videos. But really, when it comes to training, you need to mentally be there, okay? And in my case, when I had tore my bicep, you know, with that training session, my mind superseded my body. So, you know, in a sense, it could have been to my own fault for just having way more mental capability than my body at that time. But for the most part, it comes down to the mindset and the attitude that you have when you're going into your training sessions, when you're attacking your life, you know, how you do everything outside of the gym, your mind is the most powerful thing that you have, all right? And it will take you places you never thought you could go. It'll give you strength you never thought you have, right? So make sure, guys, that you are not downplaying who you are in your mind and you are uh, not underutilizing that mindset. And that's something that, you know, uh, I could just feel, I could get from Eric, is that he in here, is, this is the strongest part of Eric, right, right there. And that should be the strongest part of each and every one of you. So uh, the mindset is the real, the real deal, the real thing, guys. Uh, so make sure you're capitalizing on that mindset in your training and in your life. Okay, lastly, this one's a little bit out there, uh, but I think it pertains specifically uh, to what I learned from Eric and I want to share with you guys, is that you don't have to follow all these structured uh, principles 
and guidelines that are set, right? It's okay to sometimes branch off and do your own thing and figure out what works for you, okay? And I say this, uh, you know, jokingly, but kind of serious. So when we were hanging out and eating, right, all Eric ate the entire time that I was there, no lie, like this wasn't just for cameras or anything like that, was sourdough pretzels, uh, peanut butter, and honey, I think, and maybe a little bit of maple syrup. Okay, those, those were the, the four things. And, and I had said uh, to Eric when we were eating, like, uh, like, what's your protein intake like? And he's like, it'll be what it'll be. Like, he wasn't even thinking or concerned about his, his, his daily protein intake. And for me and the athletes that I work with, like, that's always something we're like, dude, you got to get 300 grams of protein a day, 250 grams of protein a day, like, we have to hit our protein. And when you look at Eric, right, you would assume that that's the kind of way he, he eats and he's on top of that stuff. The, the man's not even thinking about that, all right? And obviously that works for him and he's found what works for him. And the point I'm trying to make is, yes, there, there are these principles and these structured guidelines and, and I'm sure they're gonna get people you know, very far and take people a lot of places. However, if you find something that works for you and you truly believe and have strong belief in that thing and you're getting the benefits and you're happy and that's what suits you, do that, right? Who's to say that like that's not okay, that's not okay for you, right? You figure that out. Uh, and I think in, in training, right? There's there's so many uh, dogmatic principles, or people are like, this is the only way, etc. Yes, I find myself uh, liking structure and using certain principles, but at the same time, if I find something that truly works the best for me, that's what I'm going to do, and that's what you guys should do too. Uh, so I just thought that was a funny kind of little thing I noticed with Eric, and it's very non-traditional of how he trains, how he eats, etc but it works for the dang man, all right? And if he's happy and it works for him and he's getting the results he wants, who's to tell him not to do that, right? We're all adults here, you know, listening to this information, this channel. You have every right to do what you wanna do, okay? You have the freedom to do to do you, boo-boo. And uh, that's just something that I took away from Eric. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So those are the three tips I got from Eric Bugenhagen. Like I said in the beginning of the video, outstanding individual and an athlete, super genuine, kind-hearted person. And I love working with him. I hope to make it to the rat's nest at some point. And I had always said to him that the invite is always open here at the Lion's Den. I know he's a busy man, uh, but he's in my circle now. Great human being and uh, just happy to have that experience with him, uh, with a mutual friend of uh, Juji Mufu. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, head over to Eric's videos and his channel. He's just killing it with his content. I love his stuff. So there you have it. That's all I have, guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel, go to zastrank.net. We have programs available on there. We also have the Facebook group, The Iron Lions, in the Facebook search bar, type The Iron Lions, and we have a private community, totally free, uh, but you may be interested in the stuff we offer there. And there's also Patreon, okay? Patreon is just a great way for you to support me, uh, my staff, and all the hours I put in to make these videos. And we also have the podcast, Becoming the Lion Podcast, season three, kicking it right now. Uh, so the Patreon supports all of those different uh, content platforms and just allows us to keep doing what we're doing and provide the highest quality content to you guys. So all the links are below. Thank you guys so much for your support. It means the absolute world. Stay a lean, mean, strength machine. Catch you guys next time. Peace.